name is Henk Slettenaar and I'm about to show you some footage of the first 30 years of computing at CERN. I arrived at CERN in October 1958, shortly after the installation of the first digital computer at CERN. It took more than two years to build our Ferranti Mercury, which was about 100,000 times less powerful than a PC today. The Mercury was almost completely hardwired and had thousands of tubes. It took often many hours to repair the machine and sometimes even days. One reminder of this is still present today. An alarm bell which we added to warn us that there was an error condition. Very useful during our night and weekend shifts. The Mercury had only paper tape input and output and a teleprinter. It completely lacked fast modern peripherals. In 1962 we added a modern IBM typewriter and above all two MPEX tape units. Tapes could be read by more up-to-date machines like the IBM 709 and 1401, which had arrived in 1961. The Mercury was used as the very first online computer connected to an experiment one kilometer away in the PS. This marked the beginning of the data communication era at CERN. On this picture you see the missing mass spectrometer with the mercury peripherals in the foreground. The mercury disappeared to Poland in 1966, never to be operational again. marked the introduction of control data at CERN, with the arrival of the CDC 6600 and a host of smaller machines. The CDC 6600 caused enormous headaches and this repeated itself with an even more powerful system, the CDC 7600 in 1972. I will take you now to the next sequence, which was filmed in 1974. Hello. In this film, we're going to try and show you what data communications is about and its importance to the physicists, computer users at CERN. Here is a map of the CERN site. It occupies an area of nearly six square kilometers. There are two main site areas the older Lab 1 and Lab 2 
site of the new SPS. The powerful central computers are located at the CERN Computer Center in Lab 1. Two different networks communications are connected to the CERN central computers, the local telephone network and an independent network developed at CERN. Both networks are connected to the CERN computer center where a CDC 7600, 6600, 6500, 6400 and some smaller computers have been installed. Some 70 terminals are connected to the CERN computer center. 30 of them are connected via the CERN telephone network. Here is Jenny Ferron connecting a, a terminal to the central computer. She uses a normal telephone and the data signals are coded into tones and sent on the telephone lines via an acoustic coupler. This is very practical because the user is able to dial up different computer systems. Another access system is available on the large central computers. It is called Intercom, and a communication concentrator called Supermux has been developed at CERN, which allows many types of high-speed graphic and alphanumeric terminals to be connected to Intercom via the network. Supermux is implemented in a Hewlett Packard 2100 with software and hardware developed at CERN. Here is a cluster of such terminals. Carlo Vandoni is using a Tektronix 4012 graphic display which operates at speeds up to 9600 bits per second. application for high-speed data communication. This is remote input-output stations, of which there are more than 10 installed so far at CERN. A user can read in his cards as shown on this card reader. And his printed output comes back to this printer. The data is translated by the small computer here. And the data is transmitted to and from the central computer processing by the CERN built communication system. This is a map 
for the CERN site. As you can see, it occupies exactly six square kilometers. There are toilets everywhere. At least 40 or 50 percent of the people on the site are working. Here is CERN 1 and at the top we have CERN 2. Here is the CERN computer center at the heart of the site. It is one of the biggest computer centers in the world and it is filled with equipment all operated beyond the limits of present-day technology. The building is guarded day and night as security is most important due to the value of the equipment. We have installed a 7600, a 6600, a 6500, a 6400 and quite a large number of smaller computers. Got as far as the door They would have asked me about you Don't get know. CDC 7600, famous for its power and reliability. However, at CERN we take no chances, and each result is checked by hand by our computer center staff. Nou, geef u al gerippen verzoeken, mond even waar ik nog nog is. Hij is dan 3,841, zou ik wel eens uit kunnen komen. En je hebt zo'n ding met die computer, met die computer tot, tot de dertien wel af, mag laten wrijven, maar wat hebben we aan die flauwekul? Je denkt dat toch altijd kapot. But the computer always break down if you need him. Because for one or two users, it may actually be faster to do it by hand. Breaks for the operators are frequently scheduled to allow everybody to relax. Magnetic tape is one of the biggest features of the CERN computer center service. As you can see, personal treatment and checking is given to every computer tape read on computer center. Each tape is checked carefully to see that no bits are missing. And this charming young lady works night and day to assure personal satisfaction. 